Many of us live with the question, who am I? Some are impelled to pursue the call through a monastic life. I am drawn to the wilderness. For me to deny the call is crippling. If it is accepted, life is animated by a force beyond my control. My longing drew me to undertake a solo canoe trip in the wilds of northern Canada. I wanted to travel alone because I wanted to connect with the land rather than other humans. And I wanted to be far from the footprint of civilization. I knew it would be a challenging trip and I was equally focused on the inner journey. Starting from the city of Yellowknife, I planned to paddle and portage up the Yellowknife River, across the height of land and down the copper mine to the Arctic Ocean. It is an area of true wilderness with no roads or inhabitants for the full 560 miles. The reality of traveling up a river turned out to be slower and more arduous than I expected. I was forced to surrender to the pace of the wilderness I was surrounded by, to find a balance between my will to move on and my need to pay attention to the breath of the land. In the process I was held by the beauty and spirit of the land. It opened me to receive gifts from the unseen world, even greater than what I was seeking. <laughs> 